Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Today is going to be a Nordstrom's Trunk Club unboxing for like June slash July. Today's July 1st, I just got it, but it's a day late. And uh, Trunk Club is a subscription clothing service through Nordstrom's. So today I am just gonna do an unboxing of what I received today. I'm gonna talk to you about what Trunk Club is and how you can try it too. I'm also going to try on the items, show you what they look like, and then I'll tell you at the end what I decide to keep and what not to keep. So Trunk Club comes in quite a, I've had bigger boxes than this, but um, this is a pretty decent sized box. It's about a little over a foot high here and about maybe a foot and a half to two feet wide and pretty deep inside. I emptied everything out um, just so you didn't have to see me unwrapping plastic and everything, but I didn't um, unfold anything. So we are going to be seeing this in person um, at the same time. So like I said, Trunk Club is a clothing subscription service through Nordstrom's. Um, it's a $25 a month styling fee. Um, you used to be able to get your own personal stylist that kind of stuck with you unless you decided you wanted to request a different stylist. But it was kind of nice because um, they kind of got to know your style um, with each trunk, it would become even more personalized, even more personalized. But I got an email, gosh, about a week and a half ago before I got my preview of my box telling me that instead of having a dedicated stylist um, for me, um, there was a stylist team. So I would be getting any one of their stylists. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna feel about that because I kind of like sticking with one person that kind of gets to know me and knows what I like. Uh, I think this is like my fourth or fifth trunk. So, um, and I really liked my last trunk. Um, so I was really kind of bummed that I didn't get Molly but um, we'll see how this one goes. Now, um, the $25 styling fee through Nordstrom's that can be applied to any purchases that you make um, from your trunk. Uh, you can decide if you wanna do this monthly or if you wanna do it just by demand or every quarter. I usually do um, every other month for Trunk Club. Since it is Nordstrom's, um, sometimes the items can be a little pricey, but you can, um, kind of let them know what kind of price range you're looking for, but you do also have to understand it is Nordstrom, so a lot of their stuff can be a little bit pricey. But I will say recently um, with the pandemic and everything, a lot of their stuff has been on pretty great sales. So the last trunk I got, I mean, things were like 60, 70% off, which you just can't beat. Okay, so I took everything out of the box. I took everything out of plastic and I haven't gone really through it yet, but you do get this envelope with it and inside are kind of your uh, tools that you're going to need. So inside, um, I haven't looked through this yet, but um, inside you get a sh return shipping label. You'll put everything that you decide not to keep back into the box. They give you um, some, let me see if I can show you, some strips to put onto the box to seal it. And here's your return envelope and you take it to UPS when you're done. I believe you have three or five business days to give it back. I've sometimes gone over three days and I haven't been penalized or anything, uh, but you get your return envelope. And then you get this handy dandy little, um, kind of like a manual of how Trunk Club works. It tells you try on the clothes, tell us what you think. So when you're done trying on everything, you're gonna kind of check out and you're gonna let them know what you're gonna keep and what you're not gonna keep if you wanna exchange something. Um, it says keep what you love, make your selections. And then I have a little note from my stylist. Let me get my glasses on and I will read that to you. So my stylist says, hi Nikki, I had so much fun adding items to this trunk and loved the helpful feedback you provided. We love challenging you to step out of your comfort zone a bit and try things you might not have chosen on your own. Check out the outfits we put together for added inspiration. As always, you keep what you love and can send the rest back. Please don't forget to provide feedback before returning your trunk as it helps us get better at serving you. You can process any exchanges that through that form as well. If you haven't already, please download the Trunk Club app. Oh, I didn't know they had an app. Uh, to make your checkout process seamless, let us know if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help. So it doesn't say who um, my stylist was. 
Um, and then here it tells you everything that's in the box and how much it costs. So I guess we should get to it. Um, oh, also at the bottom, um, there is a referral link. So um, I am gonna put my referral code, if you're interested in trying to Trunk Club, down below. Um, if you use that code, you will get $50 off your Trunk Club, and then I will get $50 as well. So it's a win-win. By the way, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't, I hope that you will consider doing so. And if you like clothing um, unboxings or um, subscription box services, or you like what you see here today, I hope that you will give this video a big thumbs up. So for this trunk, if I can remember what I asked for, I was asking for more summer type items. I was looking for, um, I was looking for a sports bra, which I know that they sent. Um, I was looking for another underwire bra that I, um, could use. Let's see what else was I looking for. I was looking for some summer dresses, um, just some summer type casual wear and kind of going out wear. So we'll see if they hit the mark with this styling team instead of having a dedicated stylist. Okay, in the box I had two pairs of shoes. So we'll go through those first. Um, the first is from Steve Madden. I just took the top off. Let's see here. All right, this looks like a platform sandal, which is kind of disappointing only because I've asked for wedges a couple times. Um, this is my second time asking for wedges and they sent um, in the preview a sandal like this and I declined it and said I wasn't looking for a platform sandal, I was looking for a wedge and they sent something that was a platform sandal. So uh, this is from Steve Madden. It has a black, looks like a, let me see if I can take this off, a strap here that'll go above. I wear a size nine shoe. Let's see what the um, receipt says. I might as well just keep my glasses on, right? Let me do that. Okay, so this is a chaser platform sandal. So it says platform, and I said I didn't want platform sandal, so. I'm already a little aggravated at that. Um, from Steve Madden in black, this retails or they are giving it to me for $47.96. So it looks like it might be um, pretty comfortable, but you never know, they wanted me to step out of my comfort zone, so maybe this will do it. Okay, I have another box of shoe here. This looks like it's from, sorry, I took box came off um, from Corso Como and this is a red sandal I'm not really looking for these either I'm not I don't know how I'm gonna feel about just this kind of uh, small heel here um, looks like it has a fairly decent cushion to it though so it might be pretty um, comfortable to wear might look good with some shorts We'll take a look. I'm open to it. This is the Faye or Faye, F-A-E-Y-A, slide sandal from CC Corso Como in red. This is $71.37. Um, I'm guessing with that price, I'm probably not going to go with this only because I'm just not really into this style. All right, let's get into the clothes here. These are the clothes that I got. You can see I, they are still nicely folded. Um, you can also pick um, a couple things to add into your fix. Uh, after you're done previewing, they'll give you some options. It's mainly accessories and undergarments uh, if you wanna go ahead and add that. And I only added one thing to my um, trunk club and th those are these sunglasses here by BP. Um, they're just black aviators. I love aviators. In fact, I'll just try them on right now. Let's see how they look. I like them. Let's see. What do you think? Usually I have like a gold or silver type, um, frame, but I kind of like the all black. I like these. I think they're $19. Let's see. Oh uh, yes, 60 millimeter oversized mirrored aviator sunglasses um, from BP in black, $19. I like these, what do you think? All right, 
Okay, so this is the first thing. These are Madewell shorts. They look like they're kind of a corduroy material. They're a beige khaki color. Um, oh, actually it's not from Madewell. This is from Topshop, my mistake. Um, it's I wear a size eight most of the time. Um, let's see, I don't know. They kind of look like a uh, park ranger <laughs> uh, type of shorts or PE teacher type shorts. <laughs> Maybe they'll look a little different on me, but they do look kind of high-waisted. Let's see. These, um, it says Balloon Fit Mom Denim Shorts. I don't know how that's supposed to be kind of like something that will appeal to you. And if you're looking for um, some shorts. Uh, but from Topshop, this is in the color Stone, and this is runs for $65. So at least looking at these. Um, not on me. Me. Hmm. All right. This looks like a, this is a bodysuit, but it would be like a shirt. Um, this is in kind of like a, not quite an army green, uh, but a, uh, how would you, an olive green maybe kind of color. Um, it looks like it's from Intimately, oh, it's from Free People. And let's see, I can already tell with the high neckline, I, it's probably not gonna be my style. It is kind of sleeveless or a little, um, just a shoulder cut type of style. Let's see, this is a muscle beach bodysuit from Free People in uh, size medium and it, the color is army. So it is an army green for $40. So, I don't know if you can see that. It snaps at the bottom. I really like um, bodysuits lately. I like the tucked in or the um, high-waisted kind of with a shirt type look. So um, I'll give it a shot. I just don't think I'm really gonna like the high neckline. All right, I did ask for a sports bra and they did put in a sports bra. It looks like it's from Spanx. I didn't even know Spanx made bras, but this is um, their uh, medium, medium support sports bra. Uh, obviously in the color black. Um, let's see what it says here. Medium impact sports bra from Spanx black, um, $58. Kind of pricey for a sports bra, but I do need more sports bras. So I'm glad that they added this in. I've had really good luck with my trunk clubs with bras. So I'm hoping this will be another hit. All right, this looks really pretty. Ooh. This looks like a summer dress. Look at this. I'm gonna kind of put it over here. It looks like it might be um, maybe about like shin length. Um, comes with these spaghetti straps. Looks like adjustable here. It's in this really pretty maybe canary yellow with really pretty florals. Feels really nice and light. This is really pretty. Looks like it's from Reformation. Let's see. Um, this is a cremini slip dress from Reformation. Uh, the color or the uh, style is called Gwen. Ooh, $128. I don't know. For a casual summer dress, I mean, I guess you could wear it to date night. Um, I just don't know, $128 it uh, better look really good and offer services with it too <laughs> for, uh, for $128. Uh, but I'm gonna check it out and it looks really pretty. It's a really pretty design. So I'm sure they put it in there, you know, as a splurge item. So that's a maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, look how pretty this body. This is another bodysuit, um, a thong type one. Uh, but look at how pretty this is. It has just, the, the straps are very stretchy. You can see they're elastic. Um, this is from Leith. And um, look how pretty. Black with these really pretty rose um, design, floral design. Whew. You can tell how stretchy this is. I'm really excited to try these. Maybe I'll try them out with some of those shorts. Or if I don't like the shorts, um, I'll try it on with some jeans. But how cute is that? I love it. I love, it's gonna be flattering too because it has that scrunchy type of hip material. I'm into it. 
Okay, looks like I have three more items. So let's see, this is from Madewell, one of my favorite brands. And this is a tank, it ties up here. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, this is like a burnt orange type color. It's a tank top. Looks like it is fairly um, high, or I don't wanna say it's cropped, but it's a pretty short shirt. So this is um, a cross hatch tie strap tank from Madewell in warm net bag for $45. Not a bad price, cute. It has a, um, gosh, you know those muslin blankets that, uh, baby blankets that people swaddle babies in? It has that type of material. It's kind of stretchy. Um, looks like it might be pretty comfortable. Um, not really a summer color. It's more like a fall color, but it's a summer style, so I'll definitely give it a chance. All right, here's another bra, and I already know I'm gonna love this because I have the exact same bra in a different color from Trunk Club. Uh, this one is just in pink. This is um, the Notori Bliss Perfection. This is in the color Froze. Um, it retails for $68. Is it on sale? Let's see. It is not on sale, but I'm telling you, forget Victoria's Secret. If you are having a hard time finding bras that fit you like a glove, Notori is such a great brand and worth every single penny. I don't usually want to tell people to go for pricey items, um, especially during these weird trying times um, and pandemics. But um, if you're going to invest in a good bra, Notori is the way to go. $68, like I said, it just is so well made. Um, it just really fits really uh, great. I mean, who likes wearing bras? No one really likes wearing bras, but when you can wear one for 12 hours or longer and it doesn't bother you, you're not adjusting it constantly, you're just not uncomfortable, you're not spilling out, they just fit so well. So that's my Notori bra that I asked for. I'm probably gonna keep it, I already know that. All right, the final item is from Madewell. This are some shorts. Um, looks like an elastic back here. Um, this is an interesting color. It's like a, another army green. Uh, it looks like size medium. They gave me medium? Yes. Let's see. Looks like they're not, um, they're like decent size inseam here. They'll probably come about mid thigh here. And it says these are camp shorts in the color kale from Madewell, $39.50. That's not bad at all for Madewell. Madewell jeans, they easily run for about a hundred bucks. And like I said, I don't like splurging like over a hundred bucks on clothing. Madewell jeans, they were made for me. They are the best jeans on the planet. So I hope that I like these shorts. I don't have any in this color, so this might be a decent staple. So yeah, so that's all the items that I got in my trunk club today. I am going to try them out in just a little bit and show you guys what they look like and we will see what I decide to keep and what not to keep. And I wanna hear from you what you think about this trunk club and if I made the right decisions or not. And also think, um, do you think that they hit it out of the park or do you think that they definitely have a room to improve? Leave a comment down below. Okay. So right now I have that bodysuit I was really excited for with these Madewell shorts. Um, definitely not an outfit that I am probably going to purchase. Um, I mean, the bodysuit, it's just very flimsy. It's not flattering on, at least not to me. Um, it feels barely on, to be honest. Um, there's no support. These um, single straps here just are not comfortable. I don't think the bodysuit is a win, which I'm really sad about because it's a great price and really pretty. Um, I'm going to try these shorts with something not with a bodysuit, so I'll show you guys in a little bit, probably in the next 
try on, but I guess I should have worn some of the sandals. I'll put the sandals on too, but um, they're high waisted, as you can see. I mean, they are right at my waist. My belly button is probably what to wear where the button is right here. So they're comfy, but they kind of, I don't know. They, both of these shorts just kind of remind me of park ranger, gonna go camping type of shorts, but I'm gonna try them with a um, shirt that does not get tucked in. So yeah, unfortunately the um, black floral bodysuit is out. Okay, so I am gonna start off with um, the shoes. These are the Corsacomo red, kind of just little high heel sandals. They are not comfortable. They are very tight. They're squishing my baby toe really badly. Um, I mean, they're cute, but they, yeah, comfort level zero. So that's a no. Um, the shorts, these Madewell shorts, again, um, they are comfortable. I like it a lot better with a shirt untucked with it um, just because it's so high. And, um, but yeah, these are a lot more comfortable. They're, you know, maybe, they're a maybe for now. Um, this is the Madewell top. I'll get closer. It has a lot of room right here in the armpit area, right here. It's a pretty loose up here. It's a pretty color, but I just don't find it particularly flattering or something that I have to have. Um, kind of feels a little bit baggy and potato sacky to me. So I don't think... I don't know, unless, unless I change my mind looking back at this, just not really feeling it. All right, on to the next one. Okay guys, this is, um, I have the Steve Madden platform sandals on. I have the, the um, top shelf or top shop shorts on and that um, army green bodysuit. And I have to say, the platform, they look cute. They're not comfortable. Um, and I love Steve Madden shoes, so um, it just doesn't look like these are going to, um, I just don't like the strap. And I just don't like the platform sandal type of look, which I had told them. Um, the shorts actually look cute when I'm looking here, but they're very tight around the crotch area, I can tell you, I cannot hardly breathe. It is so tight. It's not like she got the size wrong because I am a size eight, but these apparently run very, very small. They make, you know, obviously it's causing me now to have a little muffin top here. And I actually really like the color. Uh, I'm just gonna go like this so you can see the full. I really like the color of this bodysuit. I don't like the high neckline, um, but here is why I especially can't keep it. I'm wearing a strapless bra. If I did not have that strapless bra on, fully, exp you know, full side boob, and let's just say I'm not the age that side boob is cute. <laughs> uh, so, unfortunately, just three no's, no, no, and no. I have one more outfit and that is the dress. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, here is that cremini floral spaghetti strap dress. I forget the brand name, but I'll tell you at the end. It's actually really cute. The slit is way too high for me. Um, it's supposed to be a casual type dress. You can definitely wear it for date night. It's very comfortable. Um, it's definitely see-through. I'm sure you can see my underwear right there because it's dark. <laughs> so definitely going to have to wear some lighter underwear, which is fine. But um, $128 for this dress. I'll get up closer so you can see the print. What do you guys think? I'm thinking not $128 worth. And like I said, the slit is really high up. You know, I was trying to look for, I wish I had some wedges to wear with them, but I don't think it would have helped. 
but uh, yeah, this is the last item to try on. I mean, I had the bras, but I tried those on privately um, and I'll talk to you about those in a minute. All right, let's go over everything and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Okay, so you saw the clothes on me. You saw my reactions and my thoughts on everything. Um, so we're gonna go through the items really quick and I will let you know what I kept and what I am returning. And I'm assuming you can tell by uh, probably my tone and how I was trying things on that this trunk was pretty disappointing to be honest. Um, which is really unusual because usually I have pretty good luck. Like I said, I think this is like my fourth or fifth trunk and this is the first time I've been this disappointed. So um, I don't know if it's because of the team aspect or what, but let's get to it. Okay, first we're gonna go um, over the Madewell Camp Shorts in Kale. Um, I will be returning these. Um, I could, they were okay. They just weren't really screaming to me. Um, I wasn't really liking them with things that were tucked in and things that weren't tucked in. Um, they didn't elevate the outfit at all. So returning these. All right, since we're staying on shorts, these uh, top shop corduroy type shorts, they were way too tight. They did not fit. I didn't like the fabric. These are a no, I think they were called the mom, uh, the mom shorts. Then we have this bodysuit, this green one from um, Free People, the one that showed like half my breast. <laughs> and um, yeah, just not a good fit, too high of a neckline. This will be going back as well. The Reformation Cremini pretty yellow with pink floral dress. It was really pretty. Um, I just don't believe that it's worth $128. Plus the slit was way too high. Um, so this one will be going back as well. All right, the Steve Madden um, platform sandal with the ankle strap. The ankle strap was uncomfortable. I don't like the uh, platform type of um, sandal. So I do love Steve Madden. So great brand, just uh, not my particular cup of tea with the shoe. So this is going back too. Okay, the Corso Como sandal, pretty color, uh, but my feet I think are just too fat for them. Uh, my toes were so squished. This was so tight on me and it wasn't something that I thought that I could probably break into. Um, and also, this just isn't really my style, so these are going back. All right, this Madewell uh, cross tie or the tie strap shirt that was really loose, um, just seemed kind of potato sacky on me. Um, I don't like having to worry about worrying about tying these, so this really just wasn't my style. Love Madewell, great brand. They definitely know how to that they know they know I love Madewell if I could say that. But um, yeah, shirt's going back. This bodysuit, I loved it um, by Leith, like Keith, but with an L. Um, it just, I just don't think it's made for women that have larger chests um, because this, while it's stretchy, it's very flimsy. It dug into my shoulders. It just wasn't flattering like I was really hoping it would be, um, especially because it has this, you know, crunchy type of bunched material. Um, and it was at a, on sale for a great price, I think $15. I really wanted to love this, but just not meant to be. All right, the bras. Um, as you know, I did not try those on for you guys on here, um, but I got the Spanx um, sports bra, which if I can get it inside out or right side out, here we go, and I am returning this. It was way too tight. Uh, this is a size medium. I probably could size up, but um, I mean, $58. I probably wouldn't pay that much for a sports bra anyway. I was kind of looking like $40 or less range. Um, 
but the Sphinx bra I am returning. Okay, so I have two items left and they are the keepers. So um, you didn't get to see this one that I'm um, gonna keep, but the Notori bra, I already know that I loved it. I tried it on, happy with it. It's so comfortable. I love this um, dusty pink, they call it frosé color, uh, keeping this. And this was $68. And of course I'm keeping these black sunglasses that you saw in the beginning on me, um, $19. Uh, I think that was a great ad. It was something that I put in my own, so it wasn't the stylist pick, but um, I think I did a pretty good job on picking those out. They are totally my style. I'm into them, um, I'm keeping them. All right, so the $68 bra and the $19 sunglasses, then you take off, they do add tax, and then you take off the $25 styling fee. So I believe that should equal to be about $69, so about the price of the bra. So it's like I got the sunglasses free. Um, I, like I said, I am not really happy with this trunk. Um, really disappointed, but it's okay because I have a stitch fix on the way. So you'll be seeing a stitch fix unboxing and they have been killing it lately. And um, I have no doubt that they're gonna do a great job this time. And you just can't win them all. Um, but I appreciate you sticking with me and um, checking out the stuff that I got this time. What do you think? Do you think that I was right to return mostly everything or were there things that you would have kept? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, if you like unboxings, like I said, please give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe because like I said, I have a stitch fix coming up this week. Um, I also have some home fragrance uh, roundups coming up as well. So I hope that you will stick around. All right, my friends. Well, that is it. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.